see how you enter marriage will determine what you get out of it. <laughs> how? 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 The how you enter will determine what you get out of it. If you enter by yourself, without the help of the Holy Spirit, you know definitely you are going to run, run the government of your marriage by yourself because you did not carry the Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, you did not allow Him to help you. This is the point I want to make in this broadcast and then we will continue on Wednesday. How you enter will determine what you get out of it, will determine the outcome of your marriage. If you enter by your five senses, what you see, lots of the eyes, lots of the flesh, pride of life, he has money, he's a graduate, he has a good job. If this is the, these are things that will make you, that, that are leading you into marriage, get ready. When, when, that, when the money is not there again, the loss of the eyes, she's good looking, she's beautiful, all that, that's beauty. Are you not start seeing a, a more beautiful woman? <laughs> or the loss of the flesh, the things you are getting from the guy, now the guy has no money to take care of you, you will begin to think of a way out or an escape route of that marriage. So how you enter? What makes you enter? How? We actually determine the outcome of your marriage. Remember that the how is important. If you enter blindly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When the chips are down, you will realize that what does not matter really does matter. <laughs> it really does matter. What does not matter now? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, where well, is the only guy in, life, in that I can marry? Is the only lady? You will realize. Bible says because I keep emphasizing this personality, the Holy Spirit. I keep telling us that if we return to the Holy Spirit, we will get it right. The Bible tells us that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And this is where many believers stumble. Many believe that the Bible says he who finds a good thing is he who finds a wife. So it is my responsibility to find. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you know what is good for you? Do you really know what is good for you? Are you sure? Do you know the man that is good for you? Do you know the woman that is good for you? That we that we stand by you in pain, in tears, in your moment of fear, in your moment of, of worry, in the moment when you are full of doubt of your calling of your divine assignment when you don't even know what step you take you do you know the one that will take that will be able to stand with you and not look at you i bought white ball like the wife of job that said job what is he waiting for curse god and die <laughs> are you sure you know job's wife was chosen was given to him by god and yet flesh got the best part of her somewhere along the line so my point here is simple he who finds a wife hey you need the Holy Spirit to help you it probably is not say you go on the on the street go everywhere start looking for look for fine face look for good body uh, good face or good body whatever you want to look for in a woman and go home and say wow I found a bad one <laughs> Proverbs tells us that beauty fades. Beauty will eventually fade. So don't go into marriage blindly. Go into marriage with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. You will not regret it. The Holy Spirit knows the man that is good for you. The Holy Spirit knows the woman that is good for you. By this I'm simply saying the Holy Spirit knows the man and the woman the man that will stand with you, that will not compete with you, the man that will not stand against your death, your, your, your the call of God on your life, the man that will not see you as a threat, the man that would believe in you. The same thing with the woman. The Holy Spirit knows the woman. He knows the daughter that he has prepared. He has fashioned. He has worked on the daughter to stand with you, to help you fulfill your ministry. He knows what you think you do. You don't. You don't. So as 
So, as the scripture says, he who finds a wife, we find by the help of the Holy Spirit. And this is really good for those who are not yet married. Don't, don't, don't make the mistake. Here we see the scripture speaking to us again in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 14, that says, I want to read it, and you know it by heart, and I do too, but I love reading from the Bible. Romans 8, 14 tells us here, Mm -mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For, the, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. How can you go on this journey? How can you go on this journey? I see marriage as the most important institution put together by God. I tell you, because I've heard people talk about, well, for God, there's no marriage in heaven. See, so yeah, we have marriage. It's just because you don't realize if you go to the Bible, you see how important marriage is to the Father. There's no marriage in heaven. Yeah. But the truth is, here on earth, God the Father said, marriage is the institution I will use to avail myself, to make myself known to humanity. And you see that in the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter 5, that. The relationship between Christ and the church is lacking up to that which exists between a man, husband and his wife in the, in the kingdom of God. So we need to redefine marriage in the light of the kingdom of God. We need to redefine marriage, what marriage is and what marriage is not. Let's stop seeing marriage from what we see around here. Let us see marriage from the perspective of the kingdom of God. And if we see marriage from the perspective of the kingdom of God, that will help us to know, that will help us to question ourselves, why do I want to be married? Why am I married? That's what we're going to look at in our next fellowship, which will be by Wednesday. Why do I want to be married? Why am I married? Am I married because of children? Am I married because of sex? Am I married because of companionship? I need, I need someone to, to help me to drown my loneliness. Is that why, is that why you are married? Are you married because uh, uh, you need a, 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 somebody to help you fulfill your ministry? I almost made that mistake. I almost made that costly mistake. And I, I wanted to marry a lady that was a very good singer. She sings very well very well and I fell in love with her gift I fell in love with that gift I wanted to marry her if not for the mercy of Jesus Christ the mercy of the Father I would have married her and I don't know what I've become of my ministry this is the mistake many have made and by the grace of God we pray that many will not go into this same mistake why do you want to be married why are you married I pray that the Father in His mercy will help us building a strong and godly marriage. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. Total dependence on the Holy Spirit. You need to rely on the Holy Spirit. You need to, you need to acknowledge your helplessness. You need it. You don't go in, then you tell the Holy Spirit to come with you. You are, you are wrong. Totally wrong, absolutely wrong. You are going to the marriage and I tell the Holy Spirit, come and make it work for me. You are you are just joking. You are joking. <laughs> you 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 go to the Holy Spirit and ask him to guide you. But you are married already. <laughs> you are married already. So whatever fire you are going through there. The best prayer you pray is mercy. The best prayer you pray is mercy. If you are going to fire in your marriage, it's mercy. The Father's intervention. And then listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. He speaks. He speaks. The Holy Spirit speaks. So the problem, the problem with many believers is that they don't hear the Holy Spirit. They don't know Him. They don't hear Him. So they, they, they depend on people, the believers like them, to know what the Lord is saying, should I what what decision, decision should I make? Am I making should I make, am I making the right decision? If the Holy Spirit tells, speaks to you, 
As a matter of fact, people should only confirm that maybe your pastor or whoever should only confirm what the Lord has said to you. Let's return to the Holy Spirit, please. Let's return to the Holy Ghost. Church, let's return to Him. We are not going to we are not going to win or have result, tangible results without the Holy Ghost. We can keep throwing stones at each other. Whatever we want to say. But the truth is, let's return to the Holy Ghost. Let's return to the Holy Ghost. Let's allow the Holy Ghost to help us build. Let's take instructions from the Holy Ghost. Let's hear what the Holy Ghost is saying to us. What is what is going to be said to you by your marriage right now? If you have cried, if you have misunderstanding with your spouse, if you are going through uh, frustration in your marriage, the question I want to ask you is, what is the Holy Spirit saying to you? You say, I can't go hear anything. What can you hear? Is he telling you, calm down, I'm working on it. Or is telling you, where right now, it seems uh, nothing is, is going to work here for now. So, this is you, the, the decision that you get out for now. It's peace. The Bible says the Bible is the perfect law of liberty. The Bible, the word of God, is the perfect law of liberty, not bondage. It's not, it's not perfect law of bondage, it's liberty. So instead of waiting for somebody to tell you, a step to take, a step not to take, go to the Holy Spirit. Get to know the Holy Spirit for yourself. Jesus said the Holy Spirit came for our advantage. We stop here. Father, we thank you for your mercy over our marriages and those who are waiting to be married. We thank you, Father. The, institu the institution you loved <laughs> is battered, called negative names, all kind of things have been said about the marriage institution today. Father, this is from the devil. I know. I know. You will you will prove the devil wrong the day has come abba father to show that this institution will be used by you to showcase who you are to showcase your glory in this end time thank you father for healing tonight we pray for healing for couples that are hurting couples that are disappointed those who have gone through divorce that are still broken father we we release healing from your presence upon them we release healing we pray that you heal their lives and set them free. I also pray, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, for those who are afraid, afraid to go into marriage because of negative reports, bad news they've heard. Father, I just pray that 